God and he, and he is content as a thirsty deer, which finally, after a long search, quenches his thirst perfectly, is perfectly happy. We find that David was okay. As long as he could stay in contact with God, David was well in chain. Everything worked according to God's will. Yeah. When we are without God, uh, things seem to go haywire and wrong. Amen? Yeah. A, here are some thoughts about thirsty people. Yeah. We find that the Bible said a thirsty woman was at the well. How many remember that woman at the well? Right. Jesus met the woman of Samaria at a well. We find that her life hadn't treated her so well. She had a story to tell. Her inner thirst revealed in her failed marriages. We find that she kept looking for a man to bring her satisfaction. Amen? But the man could not bring her satisfaction. She had been married five times and was now living with one that was not a husband. Lord, have mercy. We find that Jesus knew all about her thirst. Amen? Move on. 
because you have to be up there. You know what I'm saying? You don't fit in the group. But the Lord said that he got something for you. He'll give it to you. And it don't cost you nothing. It don't cost you not one dime. He said, let him that is a thirst, let him come. He said, I'll give him rest. The Lord will give you rest. No matter what you're going through, you might have been struggling with an addiction for a long time. Oh, yes, we do. You might be struggling right now with an addiction. But I'm telling the tell you, give it all to God. And let God work it out. But God will fix you up. And he'll clean you up. I know a God. Yeah, I know a God. He can make you stop. Whatever you're doing, the Lord.
said, let him that a thirst, let him come, and he can drink free. This fountain is free. It don't belong to nobody. It belongs to God. God can fix you up and clean you up. The world can talk about you, but they can't clean you up. All they want you to do is sit back out there and keep going.